Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to my third manual statistics tutorial video. Uh, you are not obligated to watch the previous episodes because all the episodes are uh, completely random, so they are not. Uh, you don't need to watch them, uh, the previous ones, to understand this one. But I do, of course, recommend uh, doing so because they will help you in understanding everything about statistics. And uh, today we'll look at uh, to calculating a hypothesis test for a population proportion with a small sample size. Last episode we did so with a large sample size, but this time we are uh, calculating uh, an hypothesis for, uh, for a small sample size, which means that the amount of respondents is lower than 30. So you cannot apply the central limit theorem. Okay, and we're gonna, uh, yeah, this tutorial will be based around an exercise from my uh, statistics summer campus. If you're interested in joining that, then check out the promotion video on my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's take a look. A casino, a casino claims that their slot machines are calibrated in such a way that uh, the players have a 22% chance on winning on, on any given spin. Now there's a commissioner who said that the actual chance is lower and they're gonna investigate that uh, by doing an hypothesis test. In 27 independent trials, the commissioner wins, t uh, wins only two times. Calculate the p-value uh, and round off your answer to four decimal places using an alpha of 0 0.06. Well, the n is 27, and that's lower than 30, so that's why it's considered a small size, uh, a small sample size for a population proportion. So this is the n. The commissioner wins two times. That's the x, and the population proportion is 0 0.22, because 22% as a uh, is the same as an 0.22 chance well we're going to be working in paint again uh, so the new hypothesis is that the actual proportion is 22 percent or higher because that's what the casino claims but the commissioner is investigating his alternative hypothesis that the actual proportion is lower than 0.22 so the population proportion is 0.22 the n is 27 and the x is 2. Well, to make this a bit easier, I've drawn out a normal curve. There's no need to do so for this uh, hypothesis test, but it is just to make it a bit more visual clear. This is a normal distribution curve, and the mean, so the population proportion is 0.22, is in the middle. Well, uh, you could calculate the p hat, so the population sample, uh, so this sample proportion. But you're not obligated to do so, but I'll, I'm just drawing this out to make it a bit more clear. So, uh, only 2 out of 27 chances, so x divided by n, gave out a winning score. So, that, and if, so if you calculate the proportion, it's 0 0.07. Well, if you could, would draw that somewhere on this curve, it, it's somewhere to the left of 0 0.22, which is the mean. It doesn't matter exactly where you draw it, as long as it's to the left. And we're going to calculate the chance that it's, uh, since we're testing it one-sided, we're testing this area. Because we're testing uh, it, whether it's less, so whether it's one-sided. Uh, if you want to test this, they're gonna, uh, you're going to use in Excel, we use Excel for this, but you can also use your graphical calculator, the binomial distribution curve. Because in this case, it's binomially distributed because you either win or you lose. That's why we use a, bin, a binomial distribution. So you can calculate the p-value by uh, doing a binom distribute and then between brackets the x, so the amount of times you won, which is 2, the n, which is the total amount of trials, which is 27, uh, the population uh, uh, the population proportion, which was 0.22, but in Excel I use a comma, and uh, then it always ends with 1, which is the fourth uh, number. And you use epsicolons between those different numbers. And uh, you do this because you're calculating the left side of 0 0.07. If you needed to calculate the chance that it's actually higher than this, so the other area, then you would do 1 minus binomial distribution. Because Benon distribution calculates the area to the left of a specific point, which is 0 0.07, which is here. But if you needed to calculate the other part, well, the entire area is 1. So if you do 1 minus 
this area, then you calculate this area. But in this case, we're calculating whether it's smaller. So we're doing only binom distribution. I hope this was a bit more clear. Uh, in the first episode uh, of my manual statistics, you calculate something to the right. So that uh, further shows why you would then use one minus and then a distribution. But for now, we're going to go to Excel. You can also use your graphical calculator. Then you click on the cell, you click uh, and you say that that cell is binom point dist and then between brackets the number of uh, the number uh, of wins which is two the trials was 27 the uh, population proportion is 0.022 uh, in this case because i think i have my excel somewhere on dutch uh, and the cumulative is always one and then you press enter and you get the alpha of 0.04 four uh six if you round it off to four brackets so the p is 0 0.0446 well if we then go back to the question and we saw yeah indeed the solution is open 0446 we see, you see that this is lower than the significance level of 0 0.06 so of the alpha so that means that you can reject the nil hypothesis so that means that you can, uh, because the uh, the p-value is lower than 0.06, that means that you can reject the nil hypothesis and thereby accept the alternative hypothesis. So uh, this commissioner has now uh, scientifically proven, or uh, statistically proven, uh, that the chance of winning with this in, at this casino is lower than 0.22. So lower than 22%. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask it in the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys for another episode. Bye.